Welcome back to the Combat Crack YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The trash talk has already begun between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya, at least from the champion side. Whitaker recently commented on Adesanya's title defense against Marvin Vittori at UFC 263 and said he didn't do anything flashy, he didn't do anything more than necessary, which is a good approach, but it certainly doesn't put you in the realm of the gods. He's definitely not a god. He's a very good fighter, sure but he's not as good as he thinks he is. Adesanya, who knocked out Whitaker back in October 2019 to become the middleweight champion, responded on Twitter, I might not be a god to you, but I baptize you. The pair are expected to fight in a title rematch later this year, with Adesanya calling for it to take place in Auckland, New Zealand. Salaries for UFC 263 are also out with Adesanya banking 500,000, while Vittori made 350,000. New flyweight champion Brandon Moreno made 200,000, while Davison Figueredo made 210,000. Lastly, Leon Edwards earned 220,000, while Nate Diaz earned a surprisingly low 250,000. These figures include any win bonuses and were released by the Arizona Department of Gaming on Monday. Gleason Tabau feels he was deserving to beat former UFC title challenger Rory McDonald at PFL 5 last week. Despite many observers having McDonald as the winner over three rounds, it was Tabau who earned the split decision, much to the disappointment of the Canadian. However, Tabau saw nothing wrong with the scorecards. I was very comfortable in the fight, and I saw I could have done more, Tabau said in an interview with MMA Fighting. I had the tools to do more. I pulled the brakes a little bit. I could have done more. It was a tough win, a difficult one, but we got it. He's a legend in Canada, an idol in Canada, and it's normal that a country would have his back, he said of the judging controversy. But watching the fight, I can't give him the win. It wasn't an easy fight. We know it was a tough one, but I was way more effective with my strikes, hunting him down. He was kind of running away a little bit. I think it couldn't have been a different result. Tabau even claims he would knock out McDonald in a potential rematch. Next time I'll knock him out, Tabau said. I already know the path. I felt I could have knocked him out. He wouldn't have handled the pressure if we were in a five-round fight. He already wanted the fight to be over. I felt that. Thanks all for checking out the Combat Crack Daily Updates on Combat Sports.